Hello, and welcome to episode 21. 21. Oh my goodness, I 20. just realized. 21. 21. Like Blackjack. Yeah. Like of the two guys talking booze podcast, as always, my boy Danny. And my boy Ricardo. I remember like, uh, during the Christmas episode last week, we didn't introduce ourselves. Oh, I don't think we have to. Are we that famous now that uh -huh. everybody knows who we are? The channel says literally, <laughs> <and Ricardo. laughs> there's nothing to say, bro. Well, so, this is the New Year's Eve episode. Tom tomorrow, it is friggin' 2024. 2024. We live in the future. I've been, I've been saying that since last year or this year, 2023, but we are in the future. The numbers are weird, right? 20, yeah, 2024, that's pretty crazy. Bro. Weird. Yeah. Ah, anyway, so it's, it's anyway, 2024 is better than my vision. So, um, this week, what do you do for New Year's? Yeah, pop bottles. So, because you know, vision is 2020. The 2024, what the heck? All right, anyway, so I don't know. So, uh, I'm not an optometrist. <laughs> so, uh, thank God. What do we? What do we do? We pop champagne. We pop champagne bottles. So we got a very famous bottle. Is it? Oh yeah, Blue Cluco. First time I hear it. What? <laughs> <laughs> this guy's honest truth. It's I mean, the truth. He is who he is. He's a straight shooter, but we love him. So, yeah, we do have the Vouv Clicquot, and it's famous. Uh, can you show the yellow signature label? This yellow label is the signature of Vouv Clicquot, uh, Clicquot's quality and style. This is a very famous label. It's, it's iconic. And uh, it's recreated every year uh, in their priceless collection of reserve wines. So, uh, they're good. It's, it's, of course, a champagne from France. And, um, and, uh, yeah, he's a lot better at opening champagne bottles than I am. Guaranteed. Am I? Yeah, that's what I heard. So the, uh, the grapes for this champagne. Oh, Check this out. This, uh, that's a nice detail right here. This, uh, a face of someone. Never even noticed that. Well, notice it. Notice it. Look at that. Well, we'll have to look up who that is. Maybe if you know who the face is uh, on the, the top of the, uh, Louvre Cluco bottle. I you, guess who owns this? Guess who? Guess what company makes them? Louis Vuitton, Moet, Moet, Moet Hennessy. Yeah, the Moet Louis Vuitton Moet Hennessy group. There we go. Yeah. Uh, so the grapes come from as many as fifty to sixty different crews uh, to 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 go to the blending of the yellow label, which is a big deal. And of course, wow. crew is a wine term uh, which it used to indicate a high quality vineyard or a group of vineyards. It's nice. Look, look at look at the cork. It's like, yeah, it's weirdly. It has like, like some a, indentations. It's kind of like a flower. Uh, uh, whatever it is. Oh, that's uh, the the move. Um, so they blend. <coughs> woo! Popped it. Popping bottles. New Year's Eve. Uh, so uh, let's get the wine glasses on here. So they blend uh thirty to forty five percent of their reserve. Uh, with grapes for as many as, like I said, 50 to 60 different crews. Uh, the Pinot Noir is a predominant grape in this in this wine, which so, is about sorry, 50, 55. Sorry, so is this a Prosecco or a Champagne? It's Champagne. So, so this, was this really made in Champagne? Yeah, made in Champagne. Okay. Uh, the wine region within the historical province of Champagne right. in the northeast of France, right. which is in the production. You know, uh, the sparkling white wine that bears the least the name, like, it has to be... From champagne to have it according to the laws of most countries. Of course, that's right. Yeah, that's he's, what he's good. Um, this color here is a golden yellow uh, with tiny bubbles. It's like my <laughs> <laughs> what? It's like, uh, it's like my piss. I just had to oh. say. <laughs> God, just. <laughs> Sorry, it's a late night. It's New Year's Eve. We gotta go party. I mean, I, as I always, you can see, I always uh, compare the, my drinks to my. <laughs> Bodily parts. <laughs> oh boy. Right. So the aromas are uh, yellow and white fruits, vanilla and toasty, uh, like a brioche. Let's see. I don't know what brioche is, number it's, one. It's that, um, you know, I make the French bread, the French toast with that soft bread. I think you had it one time. Um, but it's, it's good. Oh, yeah, I do. I do remember. Yeah, yeah. It's that soft, sweet bread. It's delicious, man. So that this is the toasty. This smells like everything but bread, but <laughs> the, I do smell the fruits. The fruits. Yeah. Very All fruity. Right. So, uh, Asante. Asante. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, my friend. 
It's been a great year. It's been a great year. It's been a great year. We yeah. we will squeeze in twenty one episodes this year. Yeah. From our inception, who would have thought? Who would have thought? I, I thought I would have given up by like the ninth episode. Ninth or tenth? I yeah, would, ninth we would have been tenth. bored with this. Yeah, definitely. But we're having a great time. Well, and thank you to the viewers and the and the messages that we get and. Yeah, and, a, a lot of good comments, a lot of bad comments, but <laughs> they're comments, you know, whatever. Yeah. There's no such thing as bad publicity. No, people co uh, conversing about the liquor. That's what it's about. That's what it's about, man. And, yeah. and, and we have a lot of great things for next year. So. We really do. We're really excited. Yeah. We already have 12 uh, episodes lined up. Lined up. That's nuts. I mean, that's in our heads, though. Are they going to happen? Well, we have the bottles. That's true. We have the bottles. We so pay for each one of them. Eh, sometimes yeah, maybe. 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 <laughs> a okay. lot of gifts. Like it's all good. All right, so Sante. Sante. Let's cheers, guys. Let's see. <laughs> That's a delicious champagne. Yeah, I mean, it, yeah, it's yeah, it's pretty delicious. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty delicious champagne. It's you know? crisp. It's pretty like it, it's good. So the taste is supposed to be hints of toast and biscuit accent, lightly honeyed flavors of quince, apple blossom, and peach in this fresh and balanced champagne. Uh, there's a stony underpinning. I don't know what that means. With a smoke tinge finish. Dude, apple. <laughs> All I heard was apple and uh, peach, and I'm on it. I'm I think that. so, too. The, uh, the only thing I taste of all that is the apple. Mm. It's good. Are you a champagne kind of guy? I do like champagne. Um, my wife does not drink champagne. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm, I'm, I'm not that much of a champagne guy, yeah. but I was at a party last last weekend actually, and when I jumped in, the first thing they did was offer me a champagne, and I, I always have to take it. Yeah, I will never yeah. not take a champagne, even if I if I'm just getting there or if I'm whatever. If they offer me a champagne, I'm now, gonna take now, it. Now this is a decent bottle of champagne. It's not one of the most expensive ones. Um, you can get it at Total Wine for forty nine ninety seven. Uh, Publix has it for fifty nine, fifty five, forty nine. Oh, that's a that's a that's a good champagne. I mean, yeah, yeah. it's not a fifty dollars bottle of champagne. Fifty dollar bottle, yeah. And you can also get it at Plum Market for fifty nine ninety seven. So fifty sixty bucks. That's a good champagne, that's and good it champagne. is decent. Obviously, you know there are much I more mean, expensive. It's it's more expensive than you know some of the 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 actual drinks that we've had. Uh, oh whiskeys, gosh, yes. some yeah. whiskey, some rums. Yeah. So oh, we have that aguardiente for six bucks. <laughs> Yeah, we could have gotten like <laughs> ten of those. We could have gotten wasted <laughs> with, and we just spent it in one bottle. So tell me, uh, what was your, your your favorite episodes of this season of the first year? Oh, dude, oh, there were so many good ones. A lot of good ones. Yeah, yeah. I liked I liked the one with the honey vodka oh. from Vintage Distilling. Vintage Distilling, Eric, and um, that was that was good. That was very unique. Eric and Sylvia. Thank you so much yeah, from LA. Yeah. They sent us that bottle. The bottle like was amazing. Good, good call. And I like I like the one with Dr. Hamash. <laughs> the Hungarian sensation. Good. That one was pretty. That, oh, that guy, I love that guy. He's the best. I love that guy. He's the best. He's Almosh, we're talking about you, buddy. We love you. I love you. I love you. Hey, it was really good. Especially the moment <laughs> where <laughs> when <laughs> you stepped up and you had a hot mic. <laughs> and you started you started so basically the, the bottle opener that he had broke it wasn't his fault it literally broke we threw mm -hmm. it out in the garbage so we're looking at whatever so i decided i'm gonna go open it up with the wine key that we have in the kitchen and like you said my mic my mic was hot and i go out there and i'm telling my wife i go i'm oh no he was like go no profanities yeah. i'm saying all this stuff in english and spanish and they're meanwhile they're talking and i get back and i get this realization <laughs> That my mic was on. <laughs> I think we laughed like fifty that, seconds. That was great. That was pretty so great. That, those how, were, how are you? Um, you know, my, my one of my favorite moments was the first episode, the McAllen uh, David Carson David concept Carson, number right. three. Yeah, it's just because that bottle was obviously the most expensive bottle that we've reviewed. Is it? Yeah, the, the cheapest you can get is five twenty nine. Oh wow! Okay. And I've seen it online for fifteen hundred dollars. God, I should have bought it. Those people are tripping. Yeah, it's a lot of money. They charge fifteen hundred dollars, but you can't get it. So that was a great moment, and that was when we discovered, hey, we can do this. Yeah, yeah that was a, that was a good moment. Yeah, because we at first we were like, well, what are we going to do? And, and and he had suggested, well, maybe we can talk about current events and pocket uh, politics. I'm like, no, 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 we're just talking about the booze. And he, I think you were down like, I don't think that's going to work. Yeah, like the thing. I, so, I doubted it. So 
So that was one of my my favorite episodes. And of course, our first guest, one of the, one? the actress uh, Cindy Lou. Oh, the one with Cindy. Yeah, yeah, that one was good too. She was awesome. She's such a good work. I mean, guys, she's an actual Hollywood actress. Yeah, that's true. And she's worked with Billy Ray Cyrus and LL Cool J. I mean, she's worked, and she was our first. She was right here, dude. Right here, right here. And she was so nice. Like yeah. you know, you didn't have to do that. You guys did. So but Cindy, she's always nice. Yes. Thank so you, nice. Cindy. So those are my two just off the, the top of my head. Um, so many good moments. And the ones you mentioned, probably, uh, I mean, the Hal and Lush episode is probably our best. Oh, man. That's that's my that's my yeah. favorite. Just because we couldn't stop laughing. Yeah. yeah you know, yeah. We're, we're amateurs at this. And we're just enjoying you this. You are stuff. amateur at this. Yeah, he's a professional. He's a professional. But this Vouv Clicquot is delicious. Um, recommend I highly it. recommend it. Yeah, I recommend it. Great gift, too. Like, if you want to go, you know, give someone a bottle uh, for, like, you know, you just show up at an event. You bring that little yellow label, bam! If you want to, if you want to give gift it to a woman, gift this. Like if you want to gift a bottle to a woman, yeah. like some type of alcoholic beverage. Champagne's great. Champagne. This one is great. Yeah, like, you're gonna give it to a guy. I don't. Probably not. Champagne. I don't. I don't recommend it. I don't recommend it. Whiskey. Yeah, some whiskey. Whiskey. Exactly. So, but this bottle, for instance, I'm gonna have the rest of it tomorrow with my mimosas for uh, brunch, and breakfast. Oh, I was thinking of taking it home. No. <laughs> <laughs> so um, hey, guys thank you for joining us this year yeah. this was episode 21 of two guys um uh, if you haven't so already please subscribe it'd be great you get notifications you get the alerts you get There's the alerts the, the little uh, if you have any comments go through one of the episodes you have a question about something you can send us messages pictures whatever you want uh <laughs> what you can send us pictures <laughs> whatever what's wrong with that <laughs> so uh so <laughs> Uh, thank you guys uh, very much. And, uh, cheers. Cheers. That's good. We get.